bestdailydates.com. Lecture number 10. Exes and sexes. Should we ever give a second chance to an ex? Depends on why your relationship ended the first time. If you are in college and are now both more mature, then yes, you can give your relationship another shot. However, if your ex was abusive or violent in any way, then no. These people do not change, move on, and find someone who will treat you right. Is it okay to be friends with your ex? Yes, within reason. If you have children or work together, it is imperative that you can treat each other with respect. However, if you are besties with your ex and texting each other all day, it will probably be hard for you to find another serious relationship. Can men and women be friends? Yes, regardless of popular beliefs. How to say no to a threesome if that's what your boyfriend is asking for? No, plain and simple. Either he can live without that or he can't. If you are not on the same page with your sexual limitations, then it's best to find a partner that is. There are plenty of people with this desire that would have no trouble fulfilling his fantasy. Likewise, there are lots of guys who are not into this and will not pressure you into doing something you are not completely comfortable with. Is it okay to sleep with someone on the first day if you want a relationship? Yes, if you are prepared to take the risk of it only being a one-night stand. It could grow into a lasting relationship regardless, but it is best to wait until a later date. Sense and Sensibility What to do if a hippie girl falls for a yuppie guy? No one completely falls into a category. Just because she's a free spirit and he's a black tie kind of guy doesn't mean that they don't have loads of other things in common. Take a chance and see if it has the potential to grow into a long-term relationship. Often time, opposites do attract. Can a liberal date a conservative? Yes, it is called freedom of dating. What are the pros and cons of marrying someone exactly like yourself? Pros, like the same movies, music, art, etc. Have same morals and life values. Can finish each other's thoughts. Cons. They will never push you to try something new. It can be very boring. Being with someone exactly like you is a lot like being alone. Eventually, you will be tempted by the unknown. How to date someone very religious if you are not. If you have strong religious beliefs, it is best to find someone with those same beliefs. This is not a personality trait. It is a way of life and a foundation of thinking. Spare yourself the drama and find someone who meets your religious needs. Is it smart to date a player? Not if you're looking for a serious, committed relationship. If you're just looking to have a good time, go for it. But be sure to know exactly what you're getting into. If you fall for a player, you'll be stuck with a broken heart. What are the risks of dating a divorced person? Common risks of dating a divorced person are... Still hung up on an ex, maybe bitter toward the opposite sex, possibly a lot of baggage, either not looking for a serious relationship, or can't wait to jump back in the saddle. What to do if he's very cheap? If you get into a relationship with someone that you know is very frugal, then you'll have to conform yourself to his way of thinking. If he didn't spend any money on you when you were dating, guess what? He isn't going to cut loose with any of it after you move in either. Probably aren't going to change him either. So if you can both be two cheapskates, or you can run as fast as you can to more fertile ground. What makes people compatible? Compatibility can come easy or be worked at. Either way, it's going to make living with each other easier. There are some areas where compatibility is necessary and somewhere it isn't as important. Necessary areas. Do you both want a family? Are you both religious? Do you have the same goals? Do you enjoy the same activities? Unimportant areas. 
liking the same food. Restaurants have many choices, alternate menu choices at home, professions, vehicle choices, pet choices. Maturity and sense of humor got a long ways to make two people compatible. What to do if he or she doesn't want to have kids and you do? Decide how important this issue is to you. If it is a make or break deal, walk away from it. If the timing is just not right and you are willing to wait, it is possible for everyone to be happy. Do nice guys have a chance with attractive women? Nice guys sometimes finish last. Some attractive women are very vain and must be surrounded by all things beautiful. It's more important for them to find a handsome hunk than a nice dependable guy. This is a very superficial trait that many women outgrow. If a nice guy has enough patience, he may end up with a babe. So the answer is yes. If the attractive woman has had a chance to mature, or possibly after she's had the hunk and now is ready for a working relationship.